What's up, Madden 17 fans? My name is Cody, and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. In today's video, what we're going to be taking a look at here is some Draft Champions gameplay. I've been really enjoying this, and I've got a whole new playbook here. I've never used it before. It is the Tampa Bay Buccaneers offensive playbook, so we're going to take a look at that. I also have a really good squad here, uh, especially for what I want to do on the defensive side of the ball. Um, experimenting with a couple of things. So the first is more of a coverage-based defense. I've been trying this out in the nickel, and today I'm going to try it out in the 4-3 under, and we're going to see how it does. Also, I have been experimenting a little bit with some different things in my draft, and I did not draft a quarterback, or a, um, I did not draft a running back. So we'll see how that goes. Also have two tight ends, so kind of an interesting little deal, I think, from a per personnel perspective. So hopefully um, this video provides a little bit of a different insight or a different window into what I, I would like to do from an offensive and defensive standpoint in Madden. So with the tournament coming up, it's going to be played on Draft Champions. So I figured that I would start sharing some of that content so that you guys could be able to kind of see what my thought process would be um, if I was playing in the tournament. So hopefully that uh, gives you a little bit more of an insight into what's going on today. One thing that I want to ask you guys before we get too far into the game is to ask questions, guys. Get in the comment section. As things come up throughout this game, if you see something that you maybe want some more information about or didn't understand why this worked or why that didn't work or why did I call this against this, if you have those questions, be sure to ask them in the comment section because I can answer them. And, uh, and hopefully it can go forward in helping you guys uh, get better. And probably also what will happen is you'll find something that I've been doing, making a mistake doing this, or maybe give me some feedback. What, what do you think I can be better at uh, from a game perspective? So just kind of build that community is what I'm really looking for, trying to make us all better players, not just about you know me playing you know God here and trying to share with you guys the – you know, hidden secrets to being great at this game. You know, I'm not, that's not what we're about here. So just trying to help everybody get better. Uh, and hopefully along the way, we help each other. And I think that that's kind of the best way to build a community. So let's get in here. So I start out Tampa 2, not quite into the coverage yet. Still haven't quite figured exa out exactly how I want to do it. But I use the linebacker rush package. And what the linebacker rush package does is it allows me to run with basically one defensive lineman, two, um, one defensive lineman, three line, or um, excuse me, six linebackers, and then four defensive backs, and that has really helped me a lot. So we're gonna run with that for right now because what it does is it gives you different personnel, different groupings, different mismatches, and things like that. So and it's been really helpful so far. Uh, definitely gives me more flexibility. And, you know, occasionally, you know, maybe my draft dictates that I have maybe two defensive linemen because it gives me a very athletic defensive end or something like that. So, you know, just kind of know that I'm definitely open to that as well. You know, not just focused on, on uh, not just focused on trying to use linebackers, but I'm really, what I'm really looking for more than that is the concept of, uh, of linebackers, of athletes. So we got a bunch of interesting things. I'm completely in the wrong play here. We'll see what happens. He runs it. We're able to get through. And we stop in there. All right. So let's see what the Bucks have to offer. They got some really good formations here. They got the bunch. They've got the doubles. I've been running a little bit of a different variance with my um, with my bunch formation, and I think it's actually helped me a little bit. So I'm focusing more on the Z spot play and a little bit less on um, focusing a little bit more on the Z spot play and a little bit less on the um, trying to think of what the play was called the PA post. Just, just because I'm, you know, kind of just messing around with some different motions and different things like that. So, and we still run. I mean, as you can see here, we're still going to run PA post. 
I'm just going to run it a little bit of a different way. I think I'm going to use Z spot a little bit differently too. Um, just kind of seeing some other things that you can do out of the bunch with the delayed motion slant and different things like that that you know I wasn't able to do or I just kind of wasn't aware of until I saw some other people doing it. So it's been helpful. Cool part about this package is you can also audible into wide receiver cross, uh, which is kind of neat here. Just a quick throw. That doesn't work like it did in years past. Normally that route was just, you know, hard, hard to stop, but couldn't get it to work for us there. Offensively, what I try to do is I try to do a couple of things. I try to establish early on this idea that you know we're going to pass the ball and normally i try to just establish one play specifically now you know because i'm kind of experimenting a little bit i haven't done that as well and what you'll see is it actually affects my ability to you know be effective on the offensive side of the ball so right there fourth and inch is completely terrible execution let's see what they got in here they got i form twins we got counter, power, fullback dive. So we got some we got some things to work with. When you're looking at a draft champions playbook, in my opinion, I want to look for a couple things. First and foremost, I personally think defensively you want to have a four three playbook. That's just for me, and it, it works really, 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 really well for me. Um, but I realize that you know not not everybody. Not everybody wants to run nickel normal. Not everybody wants to run four three under. Some people like the two four five. Some people like the three two six, and on and on and on. So you know you want to find something that works for you, whatever that is. Let's see. This is not a good look. May have to just trust our power play. And yeah, we're gonna trust it. Chris Ivory, Chris Ivory breaking tackles. For those of you that are looking for a red zone scheme, I think the iForm Twins is a very good option. What I like to do, a couple things, um, different, you know, all kinds of different things that you can do. That was so stupid of me. I knew the blitz was coming. One thing I'm not a big fan of is under center passing. I just don't like, I just don't feel very comfortable for, for whatever reason, I don't really know what exactly it is. Just something about under center. I've never really felt felt very comfortable in it, personally. I think it's just because I don't quite understand it. So let's see here. He literally dropped everybody back in coverage. We'll wait. We'll scramble around a little bit. Romo. Right there, it's kind of just taking what the defense gives you. I mean, we got lucky. In all, in all reality, we got pretty lucky there because he didn't spy a guy. So that was helpful. So right here, uh, third and goal from the six, a couple things. I like to stay in I-Twins, I think. I'm, I'm really kind of becoming much more fond of the formation uh, the more that I use it because the power O from I-Twins is, I think, the best run in the game. And so if they don't honor that, then I can easily run it. Or if I just feel like that's what I need to do. Like right here, I just kind of feel like I don't have anything else. And as you can see, the I-Form, the power O, I mean, it's a very, very effective run. Now, only against certain defenses, but I personally think pound for pound, the power O is the, is the best run in Madden uh, right now. Um, and the reason is because of the blocking and the ability that you get to really get a seal here and a seal there and run through the alley. So I, that's why I like to use I-Form Twins. So, I know some of you guys have been asking me how to score in the red zone. And I think the easiest way to, to score in the red zone is to run the ball. I mean... I know it sounds simple, but a lot of people don't ground game. Now, if they come out in goal line, then I like to throw high point posts or high point corners or, you know, just like everybody else. There's nothing a whole lot very complicated, although I am finding that slant routes are very effective uh, in the red zone as well. 
So let's try this. Let's try this here. So there's PA. Dang it, Jack Doyle just kind of cut us off there. So the whole concept behind this coverage Tampa 2 is to use the flat and the deep to basically take away the outside and then what we want to do is cross man to take away the interior see like right there so that's a cross man so we have it bracketed we got the outside with the cloud flat but then he comes inside if cuts inside we've got him with the cross man as you can see there so just something interesting I think it would be really really effective um, especially for pro sets because there's just not as many options as there is here there running back that little out route for the running back is kind of the one that really is hard to harder for me to stop I think and we didn't blitz our running back so dang it no huddle no huddle is a little bit hard I think for me just because I'm still getting used to it So there's the out route to the running back. Classic. Nice. I don't know how he completed that. For some reason, the guy that was supposed to be covering him wasn't. There's a run. The whole idea behind this defense is to more of a container, more of a contained style. But I think the one problem I can see with it is that is the run is a, is a little weak against the run because the linebackers go elsewhere. Fullback slam. What I want to recommend to everybody real quick is in situations like this where you have three timeouts, I always recommend once they get in the red zone, once and by the excuse me, once they get inside the ten yard line, then I recommend quickly calling your timeouts. Um, and the reason, pick nice, go Casey, go 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 go. Go, you slow poke. Derek Carr just caught you. The reason is because it gives you a shot. It at least gives you an at bat. You know, you don't have to take the at bat, but it does give you an at bat. The cool part about this Bucks playbook is they've got a, a spread formation that's really neat too. I may have to look to that in the second half. But the, the, as you can see, and then there's the uh, that right there. What you just saw is the, is the standard cover four defense that I run in the red zone. Um, there's not a whole lot complicated to it. I just put, you know, I just basically take the coverage down a notch uh, from what it, instead of playing, you know, deep to short, we're going to play short to deep with it. Ozzie Newsome. There it is. Z spot. Haven't quite figured out the Z spot on this pattern, on this particular play. Um, because I, I can't quite figure out my reads because I like the delay. I want to work with that delayed slant a little bit, but I don't really know how to get it where I where I really, really want it. This is the best that I can come up with. Delay slant means we look there. No, no. Throw it, drop it right in over the top, and we throw a pick. That's unfortunate. That's where probably if we had a better running back, that probably would have worked. We had the easy drag underneath. See, that's where you've got to be a little, that's where I need to be a little smarter. Double A gap, what's the double A gap? I haven't used this very much this season. Let me look at this, linebacker double A gap. Go. It's an 
interesting little formation there. So first half, fairly okay. Um, in my opinion, I could have done a little bit better of a job executing at the end of half there. Definitely, that's one of those things where you, I tried to get a little greedy um, instead of just taking what the defense gives me. And I think that's a mistake that a lot of people make, but they never really do anything about it. They just keep making that mistake. Um, they say it over and over again, but they, again, they never really do anything. This is an interesting formation too. The doubles, you got the C routes. The Bucks playbook's pretty good, I think. I think it's definitely got some potential. But yeah, I haven't quite figured out the Z spot. I can't trips. Because if the Titan was on the right side, all of a sudden things would make more sense. But because he's on the left. Nice. Because he's on that left side, it, it doesn't work as well as I would like it to. The cool part is it should come really together with the corner strike play because the corner strike play, he's going to cut to the outside. So it's, it's literally, and I think that's something that I don't do a good enough job of doing is running corner strike in combination with Z spot. But what you want to do with corner strike, I think, is, well... Same exact motion. Let me see that. Let's see what happened there. So on that play, basically, you know, just unfortunate guy knocked the ball. I'm trying to work a little bit with this bunch. I think there's a uh, there's a, there's several right ways to run one formation, in my opinion. There's there's all kinds of things you can do. What most people do, though, I think, is they try to run it the same way somebody else runs it, and that's where they get in trouble. I believe people are not using the in routes and out routes enough this season. I think if you want to overnight make your offense and defense better, I would utilize your ins and outs. In Quick ins and quick out routes are very effective this season, I believe, especially against man-to-man, -man, but also against off-coverage zone. So when people are running Tampa 2, you can throw ins and outs all game long against that stuff. So right here, we're going to try to hit the tight end. CJ Feardra Wicked Chicket Jits. Nice catch. But yeah, I think that's that's again, that's something that's been around for a while. High point post routes are just very effective. They're very difficult to stop too. Uh, I think that's I just missed the point after. Oh thank god I didn't miss it. Ran into the kicker. What does that mean? I think that means I get some yardage on the kickoff. So when um, this is another thing, when you get yardage on the kickoff like this, it's not smart just to kick it into the back of the end zone. What you want to do is you want to sky kick it up and try to maybe get them to run it out and pin them inside. See, like right here. So, so he's you know he's kind of got a chance to run it out. See, like that right there. And now we got him inside the 13. What most people I think do in that situation is they they'll just kick it deep and then just not even thinking about it. Oh, how in the world did he complete that? Whew. I need to stay in that 4-3 under, I think, and kind of learn it. See, that's my problem is since I've been experimenting with the nickel a little bit, it's gotten me out of my rhythm in 4-3. Nice catch, JJ Nelson. There we 
oh, that's pretty good D right there. So, and that's kind of what we're looking for. Intercepted, Antonio Cromartie. So right there, it's the same. It's again, it's what I'm talking about. It's just a coverage. It's just a coverage shell. So it's cover two match. What I would call it's what I would call cover two match. So basically, the outside corners run cover two principles. The interior guys run man to man principles, and it seems to work pretty well as you can see. But that's the video, guys. So quick video here. Just what with you if you have any questions at all about what you saw make sure to leave those in the comments and i'll get back with you as soon as i can thanks guys and we'll see you